Hi there, everybody. Phyllis Moore here, Philosophically Speaking. Do I have any walkers out there? Show of hands. Oh, you. Okay, I figured you walked, but um, in any event, you know, some of you have been more active during this phase of life. Plus, it's um, now coming into spring and summer and, and the weather's getting nicer. I started walking a number of years ago, uh, probably eight years ago now, and after, and that's after a lot of sputtering. You know, I'd walk a little bit and then I'd, it would be too cold or it would be too hot. I used to be a runner for about a day, no, <laughs> many years ago. And I lived in upstate New York, Schenectady to be specific. And it was, the winters were, were much more severe then. And it was in the city. So I would encounter gas fumes, bus fumes, you know, traffic, various things. It was always something. It would be traffic or very, very cold or hot or, you know, whatever. There's always a thousand reasons. I did run for a little bit, but, you know, it wasn't my thing. Now I hear, oh, well, it's not really good for your knees. I'll take it. I will go with that and use that as, yeah, that's why. That's why. But in any event, I always have been like an indoor person. You know, you work out with machines and equipment and, and weights and all of this other and aerobics and you got to do it fast, fast, fast. And then I did yoga and realized, no, you can do slow, specific movements. Stretching is good. Breathing is good. Kind of getting, getting centered is really, really good. But I started walking and tried to do it consistently and it just it just never happened until it did and I remember when I first started walking I could do like 10 minutes and that was about to kill me and over time I have um, expanded upon that and when I got diagnosed with cancer breast cancer in 2014 I had taken it to to the you know to a more consistent path so instead of going to a gym or a structured workout I figured you know if I walk I don't have to wait for the this the gym to open I don't have to be there at a certain time because I always found trouble getting to the class on time you know I'm working well they have the, the class at 10 a.m. well that's smack dab in the middle of my work work day and this with walking I can, as long as I put on my the right shoes and hit the road, I'm there. And so that kind of motivated me. But when my, well, with the breast cancer, I will say that they say that exercise is beneficial. And so I took it like a training thing. I said, oh, okay. And, and instead of saying, I will do it three days a week, well, that's great in its intent but what if it rains or what if it is really cold or your work schedule changes or you're tired or whatever and then you put it off and suddenly you haven't done any days that week so i set myself into thinking okay my goal will be i will walk every day that way if i miss one day it's not gonna kill me i won't feel too guilty it's fine so over time, I have um, continued to do that, and it has worked for me better. With, the, with my father's health declining and him not being able to walk, he used to walk, gosh, two miles a day. And I know maybe for some of you that might not sound like a lot, but he walked briskly, and he was in really, really good shape, never on any medication. He just took really good care of his health. And since he's not been able to walk in the last few years, I think my my mo just became well what's my excuse i am still able-bodied i will do it in in honor of him so that's become my outlet whatever it is for you whatever that activity is for you because we are human beings not human doings you know it's not do 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 all these things around us we need to be and and part of that is to be active and so i have uh, i have tried to do that and it's made me much calmer and much less stressed during uh, recent events and things because it's kind of gotten uh, a good outlet for me and I go into a, a wonderful neighborhood where um, it's very diverse and there's not just ethnically but in terms of fitness you know not everybody is you know looking the same we don't all look the same we don't all act the same we don't all you know 
have the same channels of, of activity and outlet. And it's just kind of cool to just kind of greet people and talk to them and get to know them. And um, at the same time, we are having to do this social distancing thing. So I find it very funny that when you do talk to people, you're kind of, you know, standing back and trying to respect that. And at the same time, it's, it's kind of cool that you get to visit because we haven't been able to visit a whole lot. We're, we're trying to, you know, respect that space. But this morning on my walk, I found more people were out. So there'd be one coming toward me. I always walk on the opposite side. So I'm walking toward traffic and, you know, I can stay on the shoulder or what have you. But there was someone coming toward me and they were on the right, on the right side, which is fine because I was on the left. And then someone else was was running on the left. So I thought, where do I go? They're both coming toward me, you know. So what's the social protocol? You know, do I just go, you know, straight down the middle and go in between them? And you know, it's just it's kind of like we're tripping all over each other to be polite, to be mindful, and whatever. And this happens in stores as well. That you know, there's the six foot rule, and so you see that line is there and that line is there, but then there's a line over here, and then when you get through with that and pay your pay whatever in the store, you gotta you gotta cross all those lines to get to the door. Oh gosh. Anyway, the important thing is the bottom line for today is be mindful of other people, be respectful of other people, and you know, we, we need to respect each other's space and where where we all are, but at the, at the same time, take care of your health, be mindful of, of trying to take care of other people in their, in their health as well. We're all just trying to coexist and get along and hopefully raise each other up and be doing our very, very best to have everyone be safe and healthy and well. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Take care of yourself and go out there and walk it off. Bye.